day three of our buy a super and go right on the racetrack. New Jersey to Pennsylvania to Toronto trip. We're in Neo Motorsport. Uh, going to raise the super up and take a look at the underneath and start doing some small track prep. Brake pads, oil, fluids, basic stuff and get it ready for our CSCS competition tomorrow. Let's go take a look at what that car is made out of. All right, let's look at some exciting stuff here. Yes. Well, Mr. I don't know what's going on, but I'll try to explain. Damper that says BMW on it, made in Spain. Focus. Yeah, Focus. Says, yeah. yeah. Nice little brake duct system going from the front. Oh yeah, this is actually pretty cool. Uh, that's what, that's an oil cooler maybe? That's Could be a trans cooler. Something like that, one yeah. of the coolers. The brake duct actually goes in, if you can see, right here. Uh, yep, right see it, yeah. Goes right into here. Uh, come in there. Oh, so the oh, fancy. It is very fancy. This is a ooh, like that one. Full aluminum mm. giant knuckle. It is, and then the cool, and then the shut connects it to the top. So right in. Yeah, we're gonna have to figure something out for camera yeah. plates. And also something interesting is there's uh, one right high sensor on the driver's side, right there. Uh, can we take that off? For yeah. your slammy boys, for the bad boys, you might need one uh, an adjustable right high link. Well, if, you, if you're if you a slammy boy, you wouldn't be here. Get the hell out. Bye. <laughs> There's like way more wires There's, and stuff it, compared to is, S2K. Yeah, way, way complicated. There's a brake uh, material sensor here. There is something else here. I don't know what that is. That goes to... Uh, the electronic dampers are here. So that changes the, 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 the damping nature, right? Yeah, I think that's a dam uh, damper control. Damper control. Yeah. Oh, there is camber adjustment, yeah, it's a little bit. Yeah, most of the BMW back is like all kinds of adjustable. Yeah. Is the front adjustable though? No, it's probably just a toe. Oh, no. That's toe. Okay. That's your toe arm and that's your camber. So we can, it looks like we can get a little more, you know, a little more in terms of camber in the rear. So what is special about this rear suspension setup? From uh, experience, I find it has 90% similarity between a Mini Countryman. How the suspension bolts up on the front here, yeah. how the spring, there's still a large portion of it, it's BMW, but that yeah. can be a good thing. I agree. But Mini Countryman. Countryman, yes, Countryman. surprisingly. Surprising. Damn. <laughs> every, every part is stamped BMW. <laughs> oh. That is to be expected. Everything's BMW. One of the big reasons why I really wanted one of these is, look, this is a flat piece underneath. Straight from the front, the bumper, it has a big cover. Goes into an engine cover. There's the only bit of opening for the exhaust. That's covered, that's covered, this is covered, the side is covered. All this side is all covered. The only bit that's exposed is for the exhaust piping. Even to the back, this piece of panel is flat. This is flat, that's flat. And there you have, the, by the rear diff area, it's a little more open. And then for the rear control arms, you have this big, um, kind of like an air guide, you know, like for guiding the air right through. And to the back, the exhaust makes it kind of flat, and that's basically a flat floor. And you know what's the interesting about time attack and flat floors? You're not allowed to modify your your, uh, your factory floor area. You're not allowed to have anything uh, in front of the rear axle and behind the front axle. So all this area in the S2000 was completely open, and that's just free downforce, free drags to be wasted. And now it's a flat floor. And this is not cheating. There's the rules. Reading the rules for you. Two hole. Oh! That is a two hole master. <laughs> drum plug. Yeah. Wait, is this drum plug? Yeah, it has yeah. to be the drum plug. Yeah. I'll tell you what. Here's something else I found. So, the sway bar in link is like a foot long. <laughs> it's actually a foot long all the way up there. It's longer than your arm. It, it is. It is like longer. It, it, look. It's, it's actually the, same length the length of, the of a forearm. forearm. <laughs> hey Bach, please help. We need sway bars. Thank you. We do have an aluminum front subframe as well. It's pretty, pretty crazy. This whole piece, all the way across, it's all aluminum. It's pretty freaking awesome. So very interestingly, this isn't the floor. The floor is like, like this much deeper up. So if inevitably I go off, this will save the car. Thank you, Toyota, for thinking of somebody who will full send the car. Yeah, I appreciate send, it. Thank BMW first. Shut up, Alex. Thanks. Rolling. Ooh. Wow. This is very professional. All the new cars are running such. Drink that. It's like it's like it's like a lemon tea. Zero W water. Zero W. This is too good. Yeah, this. We just touch everything we see. Like there are things, some things that are, you know I'm okay on, but there are others that are looking like holy cow. This is it's, really good. Yeah, Toyota actually left a lot of like 
Easter egg here and there for tuners to work on. Let's put it that way. Yeah. Either way, but yeah. this is got potential. That's for sure. Alex, wanna walk us through the engine bay? Yeah. So it's pretty standard BMW B58. Does nothing looks super special. So yeah, that, that just looks like a general. Nightmare. Yeah, that's like without the. Wow, this piece of plastic is actually heavy. Really? This is like. Three pounds? Oh shit, the pet. I know, holy shit. This is shit. not three pounds. This, this is, is like, like five pounds. Holy shit. All right, that's right, let's go, let's go, go in the bin. Yeah, yeah, that's in the right, bin. Right, right, right. This cooling panel, like if you know on the S2000, you have a yeah. cooling panel. Yeah. Same deal, except this is flat and the radiator yeah. is Remember right back in that. like 90s and 2000s, these like say JDM, they put like a little aluminum piece right between the uh, rat support and the rat, like it's yep. like a dresser piece, like I mean, this is factory. This is factory, good. It's the same thing, but factory. I like it. Well, we know that is the uh, intake manifold. And, and that also is the, the uh, intercooler. Yeah, water to air intercooler. So very similar to the S2000 setup actually, where like, you know, supercharger sits here. Yeah. And it goes into this water to air intercooler and it goes into the manifold. Except there's two pieces on the S2000, now it becomes one piece. Yeah. And that has a you know coolant going to another uh, heat exchanger somewhere over here. Air cools the water, which cools the air. Yes. And yes. also, you know what's great about this system? Yeah. No more silicone couplers. That hit the spot. You know what's interesting? Yeah. The front like axle mm -hmm. is about cylinder two. Yeah. Right? So, four cylinder Supra, which doesn't have the top top turn. So the engine's probably behind. That, that would be a front mid engine. Yes, yeah, so because the, the axle lines about yeah, cylinder like two. Like right around here. So if it's a four cylinder, the engine probably starts around here. Right around there, yeah. So, yeah. So, no wonder why. Pat Dawson and, and all the other guys said if you get a four cylinder Supra, which you can't really get here, but you can get it in, J in Japan, it's a better way to go if you want to build, if, for just for pure handling, which makes sense. But we're going for a pre-op time attack here and we need some power. Power. <laughs> Don't tell Toyota if in case we actually blow the engine up. All but right. this is BMW certified, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. BMW certified liquid molly 5W40 uh, engine oil going. Yeah, but this is a Toyota. Is it really? Uh, well, we did buy the filter from BMW, so it's yeah. kind of complicated. Yeah, BMW, BMW Long Life 01. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Renault so. V-Dub. And Mercedes Benz. Mercedes. Yeah, Porsche. 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 Yeah. <laughs> yeah. First oil change. It's also good because I don't have to. This should be better than the Zero W Twenty for tracking. I hope. Right? I hope. We'll find out tomorrow. Well, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> wow. So here's the deal, Jackie wants to stand on the front bumper of his car. Just to prove once and for all that this bumper isn't fragile. Fragile. Alright. Right. From, from our discoveries, this is a very strong bumper. It is essentially a chassis mounted bumper. So the question is, can it take the downforce of a 100 pound Chinese kid? It's, your car. It's slippery though. So your I'm car. Oh shit. Oh I, wow. I, I worry about lifting. Lift, no, 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 you won't. Wow! That is a pass. That is a pass. It has officially passed, well, it hasn't quite passed the real jacket thing bumper <laughs> test, but. Seriously. <laughs> Big thanks to the guys at CSG Counter Space Garage for providing us with these really, really nice uh, track and street hybrid pad that we'll be using for the Supra in the foreseeable future. Uh, these fit the OEM calipers, so you just direct bolt on fit. And uh, this is, I think they said the same compound that they use for. Porsche GT3s, like a track car on a Cup 2, so on and so forth. So, something like this should be perfect for what we're doing here. 200 tow wear street tires, it's gonna be pretty awesome. Honestly, I just don't mind his car. No air gap for the OE pads. Mm. Oh, yeah. Drove too hard. Drove too hard. <laughs> car is fast on the street, so you gotta lean on the brakes a little. So, first things first, you always gotta do brakes. So, shout out to CSG for coming in clutch for us. Uh, actually, anybody who wants, I think CSG has a code, coupon code, uh, offer for all of you viewers. Just the code JD86. Pretty sure it's a pretty good discount. And they said not to tell you this, but it works on literally everything in their store. JD86 code for CSG, Counter Space Garage. Go right for it, dude. That's why Jackie was like, I want to wrap, wrap the car white. I was like, don't. It's going to look cheap. It does. This is an interesting experiment. We're going to see if the rear wheels 
can fit on the front. The hub size should be the same, I think. Oh, it looks like it's, it's 2000. Yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> or NSX. Or NSX. Yeah. The dimension wise on this is what? 19 t by 10 plus 40, I think. Because it's just touching at the very bottom, yeah. like right there. Yeah, it was coiled it's over tires. the thing. Yeah. And the camber plate. This, the camber plate. This is going to fit. It will work. So we need coil over. We'll need to hit coil over and a bit of camber and it'll fit. Yes. Damn! Bro, this will work. Bro, what so if this I is... can find you two wheels for tomorrow? Yo, we gotta fucking square it our... <laughs> <laughs> Let's fucking do it. Okay. This is 275, 35, oh, ZR19. Yes. On the front of the Supar with a 15 mil spacer from Neo. Thank you. Um, honestly, a little bit, but it's not on the ground yet. If 19 by 10 plus 25 will fit, then whatever we have coming will fit too. We just we might need a space to space it out a little bit so it clears the strut. That's, that's, that's why I started This is eight, 19 by 10 plus 40 with a 15 mil spacer. But like if it it is actually you can't the top of the tire is covered, so this is fits by tire attack rules. The front pokes a little bit, but we can add one to camber once the coilovers and stuff come in. It's it works. This is yeah, you know, what 19 by 10 plus 25. Yeah. It's pretty aggressive with 275, with 275 tires, but it works. This is factory, you know, this is 19 by 10 plus 25. I quite like it with a degree of camber, with yeah. a little more camber. Honestly, it's not fully on the ground yet. Yeah, it's not so fully on the ground. Even yeah. just like you let the car settle yep. a little bit of Yep, I like it. All right, thanks. All right. So that's the end to a very, very busy uh, day three at uh, Toronto. Uh, thank you to the guys of Neo Motorsport for helping us out. Uh, the boss was bleeding my my brakes. <laughs> uh, hopefully, they will come on board to wear this as a future uh, partner. Um, they're awesome. Um, car's great. Uh, new oil, new filter, new pads, and new fluids for the brakes. Um, yeah. I think it's pretty ready. We learned a lot about the new car, a lot of development plans, a lot of things that maybe it needs a little more, especially in the brakes department, I think. But there is a lot of potential, and I think it's really, really good. Um, now that we've, you know, not only driven it on the track, we've kind of taken apart some of that outside edge so we know how exactly how it works, there's a lot that could be done with this car. And I can't wait to see what both Alex, myself, Fiona, PhD Racing, and our, all of our partners, CSG, and uh, maybe Neo in the future, will be able to come up with together. That'll be it from us. Thank you all very much for watching. See you tomorrow at CSES.